Hello, and this is the very first video that we will be sharing with you. And we will actually be working this one out together to make sure that everybody understands how I expect you to watch the videos, how I expect you to take notes on the videos, and what I expect you to do with those notes. So, let's get started. The very first topic that we're going to be discussing is order of operations. Now, this really should be a very quick review for all of you, but we need to make sure that those brains are thinking and you're ready for the new school year. So in your notebook, you should have already written order of operations and underlined it so that you can take your notes below that. Now, first of all, I'm sure that all of you have heard and said the term PEMDAS when it, you're talking about um, order of operations. So hopefully you know what those initials mean. The P, of course, stands for parentheses. The E stands for exponents. Now, you should notice that I put multiplication and division together, not below each other, because the reason for that is because you do multiplication and division let's make that a little bit better for you and division in order from left to right And then, hopefully, if you didn't already know, you're catching on here, that the reason A and S are together is because you do addition and subtraction in order from left to right. Now, I like to think about left to right the way that we read a book. You wouldn't start reading a book from the right to the left or even a page on a paper. So always remember how important it is to go from left to right when you're going across your problems. When you hit multiplication and division, do all of those from left to right. And then addition and subtraction also from left to right. So let's try one of these. Now, it's very important that you always funnel down your paper. Doing things on the side or at the top, floating numbers, that is certainly not acceptable. So you need to make sure that you funnel down your paper. What I mean by that is that you start at this big section up here and you head down until it gets smaller. So let's see what that looks like. We've got 14 minus 2 plus the quantity of, you might want to make note of that, that the parentheses, the way that you say it when you see parentheses, is that you say the quantity of. You've never heard that before? Get into the habit of not only hearing it, but saying it because I mentioned those fancy math terms we use, and that's one of them. So, here we are. That's the quantity of 20 divided by 4 plus 3. So, PEMDAS. I know I start with P. That means I'm looking at the parentheses. I like to underline the stuff I'm not doing. Now, I'm looking at this that I am doing. I've got 20 divided by 4 plus 3. Well, inside the parentheses, I know I have to do this division first. I'm going to underline the thing I'm not doing. So 20 divided by 4, I know that that's 5. And I'm simply going to bring down everything that I've underlined. Now again, still PEMDAS. Parentheses. I've still got some parentheses here. I'm going to underline the stuff that I haven't touched yet. 
and this is what I'm going to do. 5 plus 3 is 8. 14 minus 2 plus 8. I don't need the parentheses around the 8 anymore because I'm done doing the things inside the parentheses. Now all I have left is subtraction and addition. I know PEMDAS, AS, addition and subtraction in order from left to right. So left to right means I start with this. I ignore this for now. 14 minus 2 is 12. Bring down what I haven't done. That's plus 8. And 12 plus 8 is 20. So I've gotten a correct answer here, and I funneled down my paper. Some of you might feel like, oh gosh, I'm taking up all these lines in my paper. It's very, very important that you follow these steps funneling down. That way, if you do make a mistake, you can go back and easily find where it is because your work is nice, neat, and organized. Let's do an example. So now we've got 18 minus the quantity of 20 divided by 2 plus 5 squared. I'm sure some of you are wondering why I said the quantity of for 20 minus 2. The reason I did that is because it's sitting one on top of the other. So that again is a time when we'd say the quantity of. Okay, so PEMDAS, P, parentheses, I don't have any parentheses here. E, I do in fact have an exponent. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to ignore the thing. I'm going to underline the thing that I'm ignoring. 5 to the power of 2, 5 squared. Well, that means 5 times 5. Be very careful, it does not mean 5 times 2. 5 times 5, of course, is 25. I bring down the rest of my problem. So I've got 18 minus 20 divided by 2 plus 25. PEM, I did the P to E, MD, multiplication and division in order from left to right. Well, look at that, I've got some division right here. That will be the next thing that I do. 20 divided by 2 is 10. I've got 18 minus 10 plus 25. Now I'm I only have addition and subtraction. I'm going to go in order from left to right. So 18 minus 10 is 8 plus 25. And now I've only got 8 plus 25, which is 33. Again, started from the big, went down to the smallest to get my answer. Now, the next thing that we're going to, we, we've got one more example. This is example three. Now what I'd like you to do is to copy this down, and this is part of the note taking and practicing. Copy this down, and then stop the video. That's right, stop the video right now, try this problem yourself, and then start the video again to see how you did. So hopefully you've come back now, you've completed the problem in your notebook, and you're going to see how you did. So parentheses, I'm going to start with 8 plus 2, ignore the rest of my problem. That's 2 times 10 minus 3 times 3 plus 5. Now you'll notice I did keep that 10 inside the parentheses even though I'm done with it, because when I've got a number next to the parentheses like I do there, that means multiplication. So, I've got multiplication, multiplication. I need to do that in order from left to right. So, first I'm going to do 20, or two, excuse me, 2 times 10, underline the rest. That's 20 minus 3 times 3 plus 5. I continue on. I've still got more multiplication right there. Underline what I'm not doing. It gives me 20 minus 9. Whoops, my minus minus 9 plus 5. Carrying on left to right now because I've got addition and subtraction only. 20 minus 9 is 11 plus 5. And then I end this with 11 plus 5, which is 16. Now, hopefully you got the right answer, but if not, you should have 
been easily able to find where you made your mistake if you stayed organized and funneled down the way you were supposed to.